After braving the elements and picking up a win in the Bronx, the Leopards are ready to take on Holy Cross this weekend here at Fisher Stadium. Hear from what Coach John Gare and a couple of the players had to say about their matchup this weekend. Well, they both contributed to it, but when you have adverse conditions like that, you have to change the way you play. You couldn't throw it effectively with the wind or against it, so uh, we knew we, we wanted to, to uh, emphasize the run, and then we we were able to scheme some formations and some motions that uh, got them out of whack. And then really, it's not about the plays, it was about the execution, our offensive line and our tight ends and our backs uh, really uh, get a lot of credit for executing the plays uh, uh, really well. Um, we were able to capture the edge by the blocks of the tight ends and get the ball outside. Uh, and then, you know, interiorly, we were able to sustain blocks to allow the backs to, to cut back. And, and they saw the hole, they hit it, and then they, they finished runs. So uh, we, we uh, were very intentional that we wanted to run it, even in passing situations. Uh, and we believe that uh, um, the, the ways to do it uh, were very effective uh, based on what Fordham had showed us. And, and our offensive staff uh, does a phenomenal job with um, scheming uh, defenses and coming up with plays and suggestions uh, to attack defenses. So uh, they get a lot of credit. Uh, they really do a great job uh, on a weekly basis. Sure. Uh, I wouldn't say our preparation changes too much. We kind of prepare every week like we're going to be running the ball 30, 40, 50 times. But on a day like this past Saturday with wet and rainy conditions, we just know we have to be locked into our run game. and. Um, focuses really at a at a really high uh, level so um, we just need to know on a day like that we're gonna be pounding the run game as much as possible and uh, I think that led to uh, our success and uh, good execution in the run game um I haven't watched a lot of film on them but I've watched I've watched a little bit of the Lehigh game and um what they do well is they get off the ball they get off the ball all the all the receivers from the X all the way to the Z they all get off the receiver, uh, the ball well, and they, they're really like possessional receivers. They don't drop that many balls, and I mean that'll be a challenge for us this week. So we definitely got to make sure our coverage is tight. Obviously, when the game gets rolling, it's a lot of fun. So like you're always anxious. You always want the next play to happen because you never know what's gonna happen. But uh, with us, me and CJ both having 100 yard games, uh, that's big. But that also just goes out to the offensive line. They were just doing a great job, everyone, from the front side, back side. The back side was cutting off the back side of run, so we were able to make cutbacks and like uh, get the defense to over-pursue, and that just really, really opens up. Uh, on my big run, Kevin Zadovetsky had the key block. He pancaked the uh, linebacker and just opened wide up for me, right up for me. So, uh, yeah, offensive line was a big thing for us. The Leopards will be back in Easton this weekend, but if you can't make it out to the game, make sure to follow along all the action on the LSN. Reporting for the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Olivia Mulpahill.